Good day, students. I will be your biology teacher for today, and the topic is forest. Lesson objectives. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to list the characteristics of forest, categorize the strata in a rainforest, describe the distribution of organisms in a forest, explain the adoption, the explain the adaptation of plants and animals in a rainforest. Forest. A forest is a plant community in which three species are dominant. There are different kinds of forest whose distribution is determined mainly by climate. For example, rainfall and temperature. But sometimes by elevation, soil factors, and the activities of uh, man, such as uh, farming, lumbering, cutting of firewood, bush burning, road construction, and building construction. Forests used to cover most of uh, southern Nigeria, but the area covered by forest has been reduced by animal, by human activity. The rainforest is the major type of forest in Nigeria. The rainforest is the major type of forest in Nigeria. Let's look at the characteristics. Characteristics of the tropical rainforest. One, the forest is rich in epiphytes and climbers. Epiphytes are those plants that twist around other plants, and climbers are those animals that see them jumping from one plant uh, from one tree to another. For example, monkeys. Two, the interior of the forest has high humidity, low light intensity, and damp floor, which means the, the interior of that forest, the relative humidity is very high, but with low light intensity. Three, tall trees with canopy strata. Most of the trees there, you know, they are tall trees, they form canopy, they, their leaves are broad, to form canopy. Four, trees are mesophytes with broad leaves. Trees are mesophytes, which means they are those plants that can tolerate, that are cope with the moderate rainfall and temperature. Five, leaves of all trees have long drip tips to facilitate dripping off of water. To facilitate dripping off of water. Then, six, the vegetation has a pattern of arrangement in stories or layers. When you are looking at the forest, the kind of the arrangement there is like, just like layers or stories, one, you know, one layer after the other. Seven, the forest floor is usually open with little vegetation. It's usually open with little vegetation. Then, eight, there is usually a large amount of leaf litter. When you look at the floor of the forest, it's filled with leaf litter. And nine, rainfall is usually very high. When there's going to be rainfall, it's very high. Now, let's look at the structure in the rainforest. The plants in the forest may be classified into five stories or layers, which are briefly described as follows one the emergent layer two the upper layer three the middle layer four the lower layer and five the ground layer of forest floor now let's look at them one after the other the emergent layer which is number one the emergent layer this is the topmost layer or story so the topmost layer or story made up of the tallest trees in the forest. It is made up of the tallest trees in the forest. And their height is a over 40 meter tall. Over 40 meter tall. That is their height called emergence. They are called emergence. The crowns of the emergence do not normally touch one another. That is the only thing that we see there. The crown of the Emergent do not normally touch one another. We shall be right back. Mm -hmm. 
you are welcome back to the upper layer this is the second story or layer and is made up of tall trees between 20 meter and 40 meter tall their crowns touch forming a continuous canopy below the emergence you know you see their crown you no know, touching the emergence canopy and but their, their own height is not as tall as that of uh, the emergence their own height is between 20 meter and 40 meter tall three the middle layer the third layer is made up of small trees less than 20 meter tall which also form a continuous canopy below the second or upper story four the lower the lower layer below the third layer of the of trees is the shrub layer you see them they are shrub layer short trees they are shrub layer then the fifth one is the ground of forest floor that is the floor of the forest the ground layer consists of uh, shade tolerant plants consists of shade tolerant plants including mosses and ferns including you see mosses and ferns there those are the one that you see in the ground layer now let's look at the distribution of plants and animals in the rainforest plants plants such as mahogany mango trees coconut trees oil palm trees orchids ferns and herbs animals there are birds squirrels snakes toads and snails you see these kinds of these different kinds of these plants and animals in the forest adaptive features of tropical rainforest organisms adaptive features of tropical rainforest organisms let's look at the plants first one trees have broad leaves trees that are found there they have broad leaves to increase rates of transpiration or gaseous exchange of leaves trees have broad leaves to increase rate of transpiration or gaseous exchange of leaves pointed to increase exposure to sunlight to increase exposure to sunlight two leaves have pointed draw out tips leaves have pointed draw out tips for easy dripping of water or to prevent growth of fungi or algal or danites or algal on danites three trees have thin bark no their bark is very thin tiny so trees they have thin bark to facilitate transpiration to facilitate transpiration and uh, for breathing or for gaseous exchange that is why you see them having that one there four plants with twinny stems for climbing up to source of light you now you see the plants that are called epiphytes you see them have twinny stems so that it can enable them to climb up to source of light then five presence of either toads you know there is presence of either toads for glutations and so on presence of either toads for glutations and so on take a look at the below diagram showing the tropical rainforest showing the tropical rainforest you can see how the trees there are arranged you can see the forest floor you can see the shade you no know? that is temperate rainforest although you have scattered pockets of temperate rainforest they are found from mount Vena. so that is the typical picture of the tropical rainforest we shall be back
welcome back animals these include animals with grappling pads e.g tree frogs tree frogs they have grappling pads that enable them to stay on the tree animals like snakes have grappling skills they have grappling skills see them with that skills they can crawl on the trees they can stay on the tree they can you know it's easy it, that is the the adaptive features to stay in the forest animals such as birds birds they have the ability to fly from one place to another they can even leave the forest and fly to another region let us look into two animals vividly monkeys monkeys have long tail which is used for balancing monkeys have long tail which is used for balancing they are both hind limbs and four limbs are well developed they are both in limbs and four limbs are well developed the end limbs are used for takeoff the end limbs are used for takeoff and the four limbs are used for landing the four limbs are used for landing they also have digits they have digits which are well which are elongated and opposable elongated and opposable for efficient grappling of the branches of the trees they have digits elongated well elongated and opposable for efficient grappling of the branches of the trees the chest is well developed that is an adaptation for landing as well Millipedes. Millipedes. The body is covered with hard, calcareous exoskeleton, which is protective in nature. The body is covered with hard, calcareous exoskeleton, which is pro protective in nature. And it is for conservation of water. It is used for conservation of water. There are many walking legs in millipedes. Two pairs per segment for locomotion. Two pairs per segment for locomotion. A pair of sensory antenna. Now they have a pair of sensory antenna, antenna, which is used for finding its way. Through its antenna, it can find its way. The mouth parts of millipedes are adapted for herbivorous feeding. The mouth parts of millipedes are adapted for herbivorous feeding. Examples of food chain existing in the forest habitat. This is just a simple chart, a simple food chain existing in the forest. Palm fruits, squirrel, scale beds you can see the snake if the snake die and the bed feed on them snake feed on squirrel then squirrel feed on palm fruits now can we evaluate ourselves a bit students how would you describe the tropical rainforest how would you describe the tropical rainforest two how will you list the characteristics of the rainforest? How will you list the characteristics of the rainforest? Three. Can you categorize the strata in the rainforest? Can you categorize the strata in the rainforest? Thank you.